Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. I am Muzil Ahmed and today we are going to discuss about PLC input output trainer and the other code for this trainer kit is 52076. In the completion of this video, we are going to be able to understand the working, the component and also the application of this trainer. Coming to the component of this product, this is the main PLC part and also we have three momentary buttons with PMP inductive sensor button and we also have three output button lead which indicates the output of this input and we also have two point switch the two point switch now let's start with its workings so this is the setup of your plc product and the computer so that you can be able to send the program to the plc programming kit so firstly you go to the search bar and look for rockwell software then click on Click on the software, then open it as a real tech. Then you have to wait for it to boot and listing for the Ethernet address. So it will take time to boot. As you can see, now it is listening to the connected device. So we have to wait for the Internet address to appear on the screen. So it will take some time to boot. As you can see, now it's loading. So on that process, you can keep on refreshing your screen. To, to, to so that the IP address can appear on time. So keep on refreshing your screen. So it will take time to load. We have to wait for some time for it to appear. So you can go on and continue refreshing your screen. So refresh your screen. As you can see, we have the Ethernet address appeared on our screen. So you, you go ahead and click on it. Then go to the client IP address and input the IP address of your system. As you can see, this is the IP address of our system. After that, click on OK. Then go ahead and click on the connected IP Ethernet address, as you can see. Then you have to enable the boot DHCP. So it is now attempting to connect, as you can see on the screen. We have to wait for it to load. As you can see, it's loading. So it will take time to load. So you have to wait for it to load. So in that process, when you come across an error, so the first thing you are going to do to solve this issue is to go back and click on your IP address. Click on IP address. As you can see, so you have to disable the DHCP. So after disable the DHCP, we have to go and click on IP address to save the IP address which we have entered on the device. So we have to wait for it to load for some time. So this is the IP address we have sent. So we have to save the IP address, then give it the name as IP load. So I have given the IP address as IP load settings, then I will save it. After that, I will go back to my software to check if the connection is done and is running. So now I'm in the software, as you can see, I'm checking if the connection is being done and it's running properly. Okay. So you see, I've confirmed. As you can see, now the software is running. So I'll click on OK. Then I will confirm. As you can see, the connected workbench, the component is not connected and it's running properly. So I click on OK. Confirm your program and also the micro 82520. So this is the program we are going to send to the PLC program. As you can see, it's connected. So this is the process of checking out the IP address to see that the PLC is connected to your PC so that you can be able to send the program to the PLC device. So these are all the steps, as you can see. So I have confirmed the PLC machine is connected to the PC. Micro. I have to check the change controller to confirm. As you can see, these are all the controllers from the PLC machine. 
so I have to select any one of it then click OK then also to check the IP address they are all connected so they are all connected select any IP address click OK it's running now we can start sending our programs the PLC machine as we have already confirmed that it is connected to the device starting with the software part of this trainer kit you will go to the search bar of your computer and search for the software the software is connected component workbench by typing connected so this is the software as you can see from your screen then you have to open the software it will take some time for it to load so you have to give it some seconds for the file for the software to open so the software is loading so the software is now open then you have to go to your open existing file by opening existing file there are some projects that are already there then you have to select one project so that you can run on the plc by selecting the first project double tap then you have to click on this and then open it the file is loading as you can see from the screen so you have to give it some time for it to load so this is the the new window that you can see from your screen after the the ladder diagram as you can see the ladder diagram functions as you can see from the screen by giving the input that is zero input on the plc trainer kit you will get the output of zero by giving input of one you get one by giving two you get two likewise it continues till five six so the next step you are going to do is to download the file to the plc trainer kit by pressing on the download button at the top then you have to give it some time for it to download as you can see it will start downloading so it is downloading the build is succeeded so you, so you have to give it some time for it to bring the download confirmation window so it will take some time for it to load so you have to click on download then you have to give it some time again for it to load so it's loading as you can see from the screen download success so it will bring the confirmation download confirmation screen then you have to click on yes then it will take time for it to load for the program to start running so the program has already started running as you can see it's download succeeded so it will start running on your trainer kit so from here we are going to the trainer kit to check our output on the trainer kit so we are going to check the output of our project that is a test project which we have sent to the plc trainer kit by giving the input of zero we get the output of zero also by giving the input of one we get the output of one and also by giving the input of two we get the output of two so here is the output of our project i'm giving the input of zero and i'm also getting the output of zero i'm giving the output the input of one and getting the output of one and also I'm giving the input of two and also I'm getting the output of two. So this is the project for ladder logic for the test project one. So we are going for the next project that is project two to see the output from the trainer. So we have test our first project and we have seen the the output on the PLC trainer kit. Now we are going for the second project that is for the end gate. You will follow the same step by opening the software on your PC, then opening the existing file. Then you have to select the second project. Since you have already tested for the first project, you select the second project by double clicking. Then select second project that is the Angular project. Then open the file. It will load on your software. As you can see, it is loading. So you have to give it some time. So it's preparing for solution. So the output is here. This is the ladder logic of your program. As you can see, when you are giving the input of 0 and 1, you get the output of 0. That is by pressing on the 0 and 1 button together, simultaneously, you will get the output of 0. So we will try running this on our PLC programming trainer kit in order to see the output. So the rest thing you are going to do is to click on download. 
the file will start downloading as you can see you have to give it some time for it to load now it is built success succeeded as you can see so it will bring the confirmation for download that's the next window you have to give it some time for it to load so the next thing you are going to do is to click on download and wait for it to download as you can see it start downloading the project is downloading as you can see from the bottom of your screen now you have to confirm the download by clicking on yes so it will take time for it to load you have to give it some time now the programming is running on your plc trainer kit we are going to check the output of this input that is when we click when we press on the zero and one we get the output of zero on the plc so we are going to check it on our plc kit so coming to the second project which we have sent to the plc trainer kit the second project is telling about the ungate project that is the ungate ladder logic so it's explained that by giving the input of zero you cannot get any output unless you give two input you get the output of zero that's according to the ladder logic as you can see from the trainer kit if i press the input that is zero and one together it will give me the output of zero that is from the trainer kit as you can see after i press the input of zero and one simultaneously that is together i'm getting the output of zero that's according to the ladder logic for angate so we are going to the next project, that is the chat project for OGET, so that I'm able to see the output on the trainer key. So we have tested the two projects, that is the first project and also the second project for ANGET. So we are going for the third project, that is the OGET. So by opening your existing file, you have to select the third project, that is for OGET. Double click on it, then select the OGET. Then you have to open it on your software. It will take some time to load as you can see it's connecting to the to the software now it's loading i'm preparing for solution as you can see this is the ladder logic of your tat project as you can see by giving the input of zero you will get the output of zero and also by giving the input of one you get the output of zero so we are going to download the file to the plc trainer kit to see the output so by giving the input of zero and one you get the output of zero so the next thing you are going to do is to click on download now the file will be downloaded to the plc trainer kit so we wait for it to load as you can see it is loading it will take some time the build has started so it is now succeeded it will take some time to bring the download option so you have to give it some time for it to load now it's loading so you see it has bring the download confirmation you have to click on download and wait for it to load it will take some time for the download to continue so it's loading now this is the download confirmation you have to select yes for it to continue downloading now it's downloading as you can see download is succeeded and the program will start running on your plc trainer kit so this is the window showing that the program is running on your trainer kit as you can see dialog succeeded so by clicking both output that is the input zero and one you'll get the output of zero on your plc trainer kit so we are going to the trainer kit now to see our output showing on the trainer kit so coming to the third project on this trainer kit is the all gate on the project which we have sent to the plc so we are going to check the ladder logic the output on this trainer kit according to the ladder logic of this object is that when you give the input that is for zero you get the output of zero also for when you give the input of one you get the output of zero and also when you give the input of two input that is zero and one you get the output of zero so let's try it and see on the trainer kit as you can see i can give the input and get the output of zero and also if i give the input of one i get the output of zero and also when i press these buttons together i can still get the output of zero 
simultaneously as you can see from the trainer kit. So that's the output of all get on this trainer kit and we are going to the next project so that we can see the output on the trainer kit. So we have checked our TAC project and it's running on our PLC trainer kit. Now we are going for the next project that is our fourth project and you are going to come back to your software application then open on existing file. After opening it you have to select the fourth project that is inductive proximity. We have already test for ANGET and OGET and also the first project. Now by selecting inductive proximity you double click then click on the inductive proximity then open the file. After opening the file, you take time to load on your software. As you can see, it's loading. So you have to give it some time to load. So it is preparing now for the debugging color proximity, as you can see. So this is the ladder logic for your fourth project, as you can see. By giving in the input, you will get the output of three output at the same time. That is by giving one output, you get three output at the same time. Likewise, when you come to this, by giving input of 0, you get 0. By giving input of 1, you get 1. By giving input of 2, you get 2 as the output. As you can see, this is the ladder logic, explaining every output and input on this program. So we are going to download the file to the PLC trainer kit to check our output on the trainer kit. By clicking on the download button at the top, then it will take time for it to load. As you can see, it's loading. So it's checking for the program I'm building. As you can see, the build is success. Now it will take time for it to start downloading. As you can see, you have to give it some time for it to load. So it's loading. You have to wait for it to complete the loading. As you can see, this is the download confirmation. So you have to click on download then it will start downloading to the plc trainer kit now it's downloading the project as you can see download is succeed then you have to confirm the download of the project on the plc trainer kit then by clicking on yes it will now send the project to the plc trainer kit so the next window it's, it will show the program is running on our plc trainer kit as you can see now the program is running and is connected to the trainer kit so now we are going to the trainer kit to see the output of our project coming to the next project on this trainer kit is the proximity sensor as you can see this is the sensor on the trainer kit it is used to sense the metal as you can see this one is the metal block which we use on this trainer kit as you can see the trainer cannot sense normal object but when it comes to metal it sends the metal and also give indicators all the indicators will give light as you can see when i place the metal on the sensor all the indicators have blown so this shows that this sensor sends the metal on it and if you want to up, turn on turn off the indicators you just go to the input that is by clicking on zero the output will switch off and also by clicking on input one the output also will turn off and also by clicking on input 3 now we'll move on to the next project that is a two point switch so we we'll go and see the output of this project so we have tested the fourth project and we have seen the proximity project on the plc trainer kit now we are going for the last project that is we are going to see the output on our trainer kit then by opening the existing file we have to select the two point selector switch so we are going to check the output of the two point selector kit switch on our trainer kit so by selecting double clicking on this you have to select this file two point selector switch select it and then open then it will start loading on your software now it's loading as you can see we have to wait for it to load by giving it some time to load as you can see it's debugging as you can see so this is the ladder logic the ladder logic of our two point selector switch project so by giving in the input of four you'll get the output of zero and also by giving in the input of five you get the output of one that's the explanation of the ladder logic so we are going to download the file to our plc trainer kit you'll go to the download session and then click on download so it will take time for it to load 
so by giving it some seconds it will load as you can see it's deb deb debugging so it's downloading we have to wait for it to load it's loading so this is the download confirmation you have to click on download and wait for it to load so it's loading as you can see on your screen so the download is successful so we have to confirm the download so that the plc programming will confirm the download so we have sent the download file and project to the download trainer kit now the next window will show us that the program is running on our plc trainer kit as you can see this is the running of the program it shows that if you give the input of four you get the output of zero and if you give the input of five you get the output of one so we are going to our plc trainer kit to check our output to confirm the project Okay, coming to the next project on this trainer kit as it is the last project on this trainer kit about two point switch which is used to select the inputs as you can see and the input that you are going to select on this project is 0.4 and also 5. When I turn the switch at the right side, as you can see, it is indicating the output of 1, of 0, sorry. And also, if you turn it at the input of 5, you will get the glow of 2. So, if you come to closely to the PLC part, you can see that there is some indicator indicating 4 and 5. That is, if you put your switch at 5, you get the indicator at 5. And also, if you Turn it to 4, you get the indicator of 4, and it's giving you the output of 0. And also at 5, it's giving you the output of 1. So that's about the two-point switch. And that's the final project on this trainer kit. That's the complete demonstration from my site. If you have any query related to this product, you can visit our Tesla Global website. And also for more information, you can refer to the manual. And for more videos related to our other products, you can go through the description of this video. If you like this video, just like, share and subscribe to our channel.